What's up guys, welcome back to Ify Chronicles. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add a layer of security to your MetaMask with Pocket Universe. Pocket Universe is a Chrome application or Chrome extension that you can add and it will simulate what is going to happen within your wallet. So after adding it and connecting to your wallet, basically, let me show you what would happen. So this is Pocket Universe right here. You can select to turn on the simulation or not and also skip official marketplace. So for example, if we have Sushi, if we have Uniswap, which are official market marketplaces, it will not turn on, but, I'm, but I have it on off, so I can show you what is going to happen. Currently, they are on Ethereum, on Polygon, on Arbitrum, and also BSC. So in case you're, if you're using ZK Sync, for example, or Starknet, or any other blockchain that is not listed here, then it might not appear or, or start the simulation. But of course, with time, I guess that they will continue to add more and more blockchains. So if I come here to Sushi, I connect to Arbitrum, and let's say that I want to spend some of my ETH on Arbitrum, and then I click Swap, and just show you what is going to happen. So here on Pocket Universe, as you can see, it is just showing me that I am going to spend 0.005 ETH, and I'm going to be receiving zero. Um, I mean 8.2 Arbitrum. If I click Continue, then now it will open the MetaMask for me to confirm my transaction right here. So I'm gonna be rejecting it because I don't want to do it. And it would be the same. So for example, if I do this, and it shows me that what is going to happen is something that I don't want to happen within my wallet, I can just click Reject. And basically it will not open the MetaMask verification. Also, for example, if I am using Galaxy, and I want to connect my wallet, I'm gonna to switch to Ethereum, for example, and now I'm gonna click connect, I'm gonna do MetaMask, and now that I'm on MetaMask, if this is your first time connecting your wallet to Ethereum, for example, it will pop up a sign in. So basically it will show you what is going to happen within your wallet. So let me see. We're currently on Ethereum, for example, we also have Polygon, Arbitrum, but since I'm already connected on all of them, it shouldn't pop up. Let's see for Polygon what would actually happen. I'm gonna be switching real quick, but again, since I am already connected, and this is not the first time that I'm using Galaxy, it will not um, pop up. But if it is for any other project, it will actually show you and it will say that you're signing a transaction and that it will not give them permission, for example, to transfer your asset. But if indeed it is something that you're signing and it will help them or give them access to transferring your asset, it will actually show you to have um, precaution for you to know, okay, so if I click on it, I might get my assets stolen or at least I'm giving them permission to remove my assets in the future. So yeah, super cool, super quick to use. Again, it is not something that you can use on all the blockchain, but I think that since it is free, it is a, a really good um, security layer that you can add to your wallet because there is a lot of scams out there that um, whatever we can do to stop that and to increase our security is a good thing. So let me know um, what you think about it. Also, we have a second option that I like to use, which is Fire, which is App Join Fire. And basically, it is the same. So I have both of them added to my Chrome extension. I think that Pocket Universe works a little bit better than Fire. Let me go ahead and click here. So as you can see, it shows how it works and it will basically create a simulation and show you what is going to happen. So let's see here, it says this transaction will transfer the APE 1351 to X address. So you can go ahead and confirm. So currently they have a little bit more. They have um, Arbitrum and they also have Optimism. So since Pocket Universe don't have Optimism, you can go ahead and just add both of them. So you can also have the protection on Optimism. So if we do here, you can see some dApps and all the information. You can also see some approval that I have. So I can basically come here and remove them. So this is a pretty cool thing. We have NFTs. Let's see, for example, Polygon. If I click here, what is going to happen? So as you can see, I have Sphere, which is something that I had since last year, I think, almost two years ago. I can continue and double check, for, for example, also on Polygon, I don't have any approvals. And let's see, Arbitrum, if I have, I should have some of them on Arbitrum. 
and let's see, yeah, I have some of them. For example, we have GMX, Umami, PIOS, Arbitrum, and this is ArbSwap. So if I want to remove it, I can just come here, click on revoke.cache. Once I am here, I can basically revoke the permission for them to get access to uh, my funds. We can also check everything here and then remove it. So I would have to connect my wallet. Go ahead and do that. Do next. And now, as you can see, we have all the approvals that I can remove. So if I want to remove, for example, ERA, I can just switch my network. It will go to ZK Sync and I can revoke it right here. If I do this, it will give me the option to revoke the transaction. As simple as that. So by approving, I'm going to be revoking any transaction coming from there for this asset. So yeah, super simple, super simple. So basically, if you get involved with a project that you are not really 100% sure if they are a scam or not, and you already connected your wallet, you already took a transaction, just come here to revoke.cash, but also make sure that you have one of those so it can also simulate what is going to happen within your wallet. If you have any other tools, that you think that might also add to a layer, a, add a layer of security, please let me know in the comment section. And if this content was helpful enough, please share it to the friends so they can also be safe. Thank you for watching. Have a nice one.